So here we're asked to factorise x squared plus 7x plus 12. So the first step is to find the guide number. So we find the guide number by multiplying the x squared coefficient, that's the number beside the x squared, by the constant. Now if you remember previously, the general form of quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the x squared coefficient and c is the constant. So to find the guide number, we're multiplying a by c. So a is the number beside the x squared. If it's x squared on its own, that means it's 1x squared. So a is equal to 1. c is the constant, and that's 12 in this case. So it's 1 by 12 is equal to 12. So our guide number here is 12. Step 2, we write out all the factors of the guide number. So the factors of 12, so it's 1 multiplied by 12. And don't forget, minus 1 multiplied by minus 12, because a minus by a minus is a plus. We have 2 by 6, minus 2 by minus 6, 3 by 4, and minus 3 by minus 4. On to step 3. We have to pick the factors of 12 which add to give you the x coefficient in the original quadratic. We can see that the x coefficient here is 7. It's the number beside the x. So we have to pick out the factors of 12, the guide number, that add up to the x coefficient, which is 7 in this case. So if we analyse the factors here, the set of factors that add up to 7 are 3 and 4. Our next step, step 4, we have to split the x term in the original quadratic into two terms using the values found in step 3. So the values found in step 3 were 3 and 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to split our quadratic up. So we'll keep the x squared as it is. The x part will split up into plus 3x plus 4x. Because remember, plus 3 and plus 4 were the two factors we identified in step 3. So what we've done there is we've broken up 7x into plus 3x plus 4x. It doesn't change the value of the x part, but it allows us to factorise by grouping, which we're going to do next. So in step 5, we'll mark out our pairs. So we'll take x squared plus 3x and 4x plus 12, and we'll factorise by grouping. So you can see in x squared plus 3x, the common factor here is x. So x divides into both of those evenly. So we take x out outside the brackets and divide both terms by x. The next pair, 4x plus 12, you can see 4 divides in evenly, so that's the only common factor there. So we divide 4 into both terms. So x squared divided by x is just x. 3x divided by x is 3, 4x divided by 4 is x, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. We can see there's a common factor. We're multiplying x by x plus 3, we're also multiplying 4 by x plus 3. So we can rewrite that as follows. So it's x plus 4 by x plus 3, and that's our quadratic factorised. So we started out with the quadratic x squared plus 7x plus 12. When we factorised it, we got x plus 4 by x plus 3.